a few people have asked about the, the specs on this. Um, just a quick run through. Anybody that's uh, planning on building anything similar. So we've got the throttle bodies uh, K1, 2 and 3 GSXR 600s. Uh, the taper throttle body, I believe the 38mm will taper down to. Uh, the inlet manifold was purchased from Danced Engineering. I'll put a clip in of the video. Uh, in, in the video of um, when it when it arrived there was a couple of kind of sharp corners in it because they make it out of two pieces of pipe um, and obviously you do end up with a, a slight angle in there uh, so what I did I gave it to a, a mate of mine that's pretty handy with um, fabrication and he internally welded it and ported it out so it's a a really nice curve inside now both top and bottom uh, so it, it probably only gained maybe five six horsepower through porting it properly um, but if you're chasing every last horsepower it is something that you'll have to um, look into doing if you're getting a, a danced inlet uh, the injectors are standard uh, 220ccs that come with the uh, GSX-R600s uh, excuse the, the hook it's holding the wiring out of the way at the minute um, so if I just get a torch I'll show you so obviously you need a, a trigger wheel or something to run a, a standalone management on the earlier uh, Dizzy Micro engines so this one is got a Ford uh, VR sensor, crank sensor, and the bottom pulley has been replaced with a, a TTV um, billet piece uh, with a trigger wheel on, 36 minus 1 trigger wheel for the Ford trigger pattern for the Omex. Uh, it is an un underdrive pulley as well, so the pulleys are slightly smaller, so it rotates the water pump slower. So you've got less chance of cavitation at high revs because it's a big thing. I mean, the the engines are designed to be tootling around town with grandma in it um, at 1500 revs, 2000 revs. So when you're revving them to seven, eight thousand, you get an issue with water cavitation on all engines when you're over revving them. Um, so that is another advantage of using that pulley with it being underdrive. It it slows down the water pump and. It's maybe only 20% underdrive, but um, it does make a difference. Uh, so obviously we've got different length belts. We've got we've got shorter belts on this one. So the alternator now runs a, a 5PK 650. Uh, the water pump belt is a 4PK 630. Um, if you can see down there, but I had to make a bracket uh, that bolts up to the front timing chest. And then another bracket, obviously, to mount the trigger wheel on, uh, mount the crank sensor on. The crank sensor needs an air gap between the trigger wheel and the face of the crank sensor of 0.5 mil. Um, I think it's 0.3 to 0.5 millimeters. Um, so that's something that you know you have to, when you're making your bracket, you have to work out where it is. If you make a little bit of adjustment in it in your brackets you can um, obviously alter it that way and just put a feeler gauge between the sensor and the, the uh, trigger wheel. Uh, so around the front we've just got what everyone's got pretty much a jam speed manifold. Internally it's uh, a pair of Matt Humphreys 774 cams uh, time, timed up properly because the, when they do come they're slightly out. If you just put them on the dowels um, they're near enough but it's actually, it retards the inlet camshaft slightly. Um, and you're probably about four or five degrees out. Again, not a massive difference. You're probably talking a couple of horsepower, maybe two, three horsepower maximum. Um, by file, you, you file down the dowel, or you get an offset dowel, um, and you retime it properly. Um, so it's, it's probably got a few more degrees advanced than what it would if you just bolted them in. Uh, running a, a Ford Wasted Spark coil pack 
pretty much standard for anything at aftermarket. Uh, adjustable fuel pressure regulator. Now with the GSXR throttle bodies you've got no fuel return uh, like standard on the Micra. Uh, you've got a, a one coming from the pump and then you've got the regulator, pressure regulator coming back out and then the return. So what you've got to do is basically where it comes from the that's coming from the um, injection from the high pressure pump in the tank and it comes up and it feeds and then this T runs this runs down this pipe runs down and it comes back up through this inlet manifold and feeds into the rail there so uh, to get its return what I've done is I run the T and then the T comes into the pressure regulator the aftermarket pressure regulator and then the leak off pressure runs back down and to the tank so you've still got a loop system a, a two line system like Nissan uh, intended um, so this engine is a it's a 1350 bottom end um, from a, a coil pack micro engine um, and I'm running uh, for a couple of reasons the distributor head uh, the, the dizzy style head um, I've made a blank in there basically by um, just trimming down uh, an old dizzy uh, and then welding it up um, so it's now just a bung basically in there uh, I mean there, there is advantages of running the uh, the uh, coil pack head in that you've got uh, shimless uh, cam followers so if you are revving high and you leave the clearances a little bit a little bit slack um, you can spit a shim out I've shimmed this right down um, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue the head the reason I'm using this is the head is is really well ported um, it was done by a, a guy called Clive at Speed Freak Engineering at Castleford he's big into stock cars um, but he's, he's pretty handy with selling the red so I give it to him to do um, if it comes down to it if this engine lets go I've got that one there which is that's another 1350 bottom end uh, but that's got the coil pack head on it so it has got the, um, the shimless followers as you can see in there uh, so that will be an upgrade if this goes bang um, I'm hoping it doesn't but you never know it's yeah motorsport and on built isn't it so it's, it's probably gonna break at some point um, yeah so we've got other parts of the engine we've got a, a TTV billet steel flywheel 2.7 kilos it made a massive difference to this car uh, we've got a standard clutch in it at the minute that will be changing once this gets mapped so the clutch will be a CG Motorsport clutch from Leeds um, stage 2 that will be upgraded to the box is a, a 99 spec box which was the lowest ratios uh, 1 litre uh, gearbox lowest ratios they ever did in a Micra K11 um, it's just a standard box there's nothing in there at the minute there's no gripper or anything or, or uh, quaff diff or anything it, it's just what it is um, that might be getting upgraded we'll see how things go um, as for sensors so we've got uh, just down at the back there we've got an air temperature sensor that's um, drilled and tapped M12 by 1.5 anyone that's wanting to do it uh, so that goes directly into the air airflow gives the ECU an idea of what's happening the uh, throttle position sensor is the standard 3 pin for GSXR. Um, the Omex ECU, the 600 ECU, it's quite a clever system. You can set it up so it resets itself to um, fully closed throttle every time it recalibrates itself. Um, it's probably just as easy to give it an idea on what's happening. So you, you give it its minimum value and maximum value. So you, you basically go into the, the mapping software. Um, you leave the throttle fully closed. Yeah, it tells you a value, 68 I think this was, 
Um, so you put that as your, your minimum value, your maximum value of 227 or something I think it was. Um, you put that into the box, 227 maximum value, and then it works it out on a percentage scale. So it knows whether you're at 5% throttle, 10% throttle, 100% throttle, whatever. Uh, cool and temp sensors. The one down there, uh, so the blue plug is the Omex, original Omex um, sensors. You, the benefit of using Omex is apparently they're pre-calibrated to the ECU. Um, I found that they were a little bit out. I recalibrated them anyway in a, a boiling a pan of boiling hot water um, with a sensor plugged in to the um, to the ECU. Uh, so I just tweaked it a little bit so it's a bit more accurate. Hopefully, uh, the thread again is M12 by 1.5, which coincidentally so is the Micra, the Micra standard uh, coolant temp sensor is M12 by 1.5. So that's a nice simple bolt in job. The little sensor above it, uh, the one with the red wire on, that one's for the gauge in the car. Um, the, the original gauge is probably not all that accurate, but it's nice to have a, a rough idea whether it's um, stone coal and thermostats stuck open or whether it's boiling its nuts off. Uh, the uh, Lambda, you only need a Lambda if you're wanting to run um, full emission systems really. Um, if you're running a motorsport spec car, you probably don't need a Lambda mapping in. Um, it's just for fuel trim, um, for, for when you're at light load and stuff, so that a car can meet emission standards. So it's a, a Vauxhall Cavalier uh, narrowband oxygen sensor. Um, yeah, so that is about that. Uh, yeah, so the ECU, we run, we, we get rid of the engine wiring loom, uh, the original one, and we run the ECU loom through the original uh, bulkhead part there, through the rubber grommet, and then the wiring runs through now. And we're, um, there we are, there's the Omex running in there. It's in one of the, um, it's got one of the Hurley brackets, um, it just gives the um, the part on the back that you need for plugging in the, the laptop. It's nice easy access so if you're trying to map it or if you've got problems um, you can just plug it in there, you're not messing about under a carpet anywhere to try and get in. Uh, that's pretty much it. The, uh, the installation didn't go bad. Um, I think with all the messing about and everything it's probably cost, I should think, yeah, between 1500, 1500 quid and two grand um, to, to get the throttle bodies mounted. Obviously then you've got your cams on top at 450 quid or whatever they were. Um, engines, they're not expensive. So again, a uh, parted cylinder head, I think it cost me about 500 quid total for a a uh, half mil skim and a, um, and a decent part on it. Um, the inlet manifold uh, is now parted fully to the head uh, to increase blow. Um, yeah, any questions, ask them in the comments.